going. <clears throat> Hello everyone. Welcome back to Factorio. Last episode we finished up setting our uh, red science packs and our science zone as well as the copper smelting area. So now we're going to be setting up green science packs. Um, green science packs aren't too bad. It's just establishing the components to it. That's the hard part because there's a lot of different features to it. Oh, okay. Now, I think we actually just finished our last research of red science packs. Yep. So now we have to wait for green science packs before we can research anything, which is really bad. But it, it's not too bad. It's fine. So let's actually just start clearing out trees. We're going to need to clear this whole section. Uh, I don't think we're going to do that. I don't think we're gonna do all that this episode, but we are gonna to need to clear it out for the green science packs, which is really unfortunate. Because the green science packs need quite a bit of space to operate. Alright, so what can we talk about while we're shooting trees? Well, um, I know we're going to need to clear out biter bases. I think I might do that in the next episode. Because biter bases are going to be such a big problem now. Since they are, we are creating a ton more pollution than we were a few episodes ago. Oh, I ran out of ammo again. My goodness. How do I, n I never notice when I'm running out of ammo. I'm just going to create a ton this time. Well, I won't need to make it for a while. But, um... Definitely need to clear out biter bases soon. And what we act might actually be able to do is we might be able to establish a car soon. Because engines aren't too bad to make from what I remember. And they only need a tier 2 automation machine. So we can definitely make a car soon. After we research it, of course. We'll see how that works out. But, um... For now, we just want to worry. We I want to work on green science packs, getting that completely automated, and then probably getting some other smaller stuff automated, like inserters, belts, uh, and some other smaller type things. But for now, all right, I think that's good with the trees. I don't think we need to clear anymore. We we just cleared out a ton. We'll just keep shooting some more out when we're walking up here. But we're going to need a set of green science packs. So green science packs need belts and inserters to craft. And inserters are... <coughs> inserters are... Let's check because I can't remember for some reason. <laughs> inserters are electronic circuits, iron gear wheels, and iron plates. Well, we have the iron gear wheels right here. So all we need to do is get that going further forward. Iron plates are right there. And the electronic circuits are right here. So we have everything that we need. Also, I forgot to do something a few episodes ago when we actually made these. I actually need to set up a distribu distribution area in between these. Because right now, they're not being distributed evenly. So like that. We need to do that every few... I can't believe I forgot to do that. So we, we, we could have been storing more, of course, but... That's fine right now. There we go. Now we're doing that. Most of like that that is that is to max efficiency as far as I can tell. We're actually gonna grab some of these. We need a few. Wow, look at all those. That's beautiful. It's just pumping away. Alright. So now we'll actually extend our main bus. I'm actually gonna grab some belts out of the uh the little area down here. And we can actually tear down that whole section now. We don't we don't need it anymore. It's uh it's useless now to us. Which is kinda sad, but I mean it needs to happen. So yeah, we can actually get rid of all this stuff. I'm not gonna destroy that. That's too many too many for me to handle right now. We can grab all of our ammo though. Get rid of these, get rid of the ammo box. Uh, we can take all these with us, too. Might as well. Take this with us, this, this. Okay. 
Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll like every we'll we'll tear it down bit by bit every episode. We don't need to do it all right now, but let's let's get green science packs going. So, um, this isn't gonna be too hard. So, what do belts take? Belts take iron plate and gear wheels. So, all we really need to do is have a section where it's creating. Or we need to have a section. Let's say, well. Our ultimate goal would be to have the green science packs line up with the red science packs here. So this is where it's going to end. This is where the end process will be. And then these will output in the exact same manner. And they'll be going into the right zone. So that's our final air, uh, final zone. Okay. So that's the final. So we're going to need another section, which I'm actually going to have to make. And that section will just be making the inserters, and the other section will be making the belts. So we'll have them both come up here. We can probably have two sections of belts, because belts produce fairly quickly. So we'll do, uh, let's say two sections of belts. We'll do that like, we'll do that about right here. So we'll, and we'll move we'll it closer. We'll do it here. So we'll do two sections of belts here. That will pump up right here. So we've got belts taken care of right here. And what we can do is we can pump the ingredients here. So let's actually split this. Do I have any splitters? Nope. Don't have any splitters. All right, we'll make some splitters. So we'll put the ingredients here, and we can also pump the ingredients into this section, which this will be making inserters. Let's get four of these going. These inserters will be going out here. Ingredients coming in here. Let's push these back one more, actually, because we're going to need to send in electronic circuits as well. So we'll push them back by one. There we go. And what we can also do now is we can use long arm inserters. So we'll just do that. Put a long arm inserter in each of these. There we go. So now we've got ingredients for both of the sections that can be pumped in. It should be fairly simple. So these are going to be displacing on the. Oop, wrong way. They're going to be going onto the right side, so we need these to go onto the left. All right, we're cutting it off for now, but that's fine. So when these place, they place on the far side, so that'll be on the same side, which we don't want. So we'll actually have to have these come in probably like here, like that. There we go. So now they'll be on the correct side. Oop, what am I doing? I don't want to do that, silly. There we go. Okay, so let's get everything set up now. So these will be creating belts, and these will be creating inserters. There we go. So now we just need to get all of our main lines over to these areas. So we'll be having electronic circuits extend out to here. Copper extending out to here, and iron extending out to here. There we go, it's starting to come together. So, we know iron is going to be coming out right here. Oh, we actually need to push it back by one. So, iron's going to come out here. And we'll have it feed in through... Um... Hold on. How, how, how are we going to do this? Here, let's let's get these up here first so we can see exactly how we're going to do this. So, uh, Yeah, we'll do this. So we'll actually move this line, send this up like that. There we go. And then underground belt right here. There we go. So now we're getting this set up. 
which then this will pump into this area here. Oh, we don't want to pump it into the iron. So the iron and and the <coughs> gears need to come here. We'll just set an underground belt right here because I, I I can't think right now. <laughs> so we'll have the iron come through there. Underground belt right here. Wait, wait, wait. I'm being so silly about this. Do that. There we go. Goodness me. We don't need an underground belt right there. We need it right here. Okay. So there we go. And then what we can do is we can just have it feed in through one side. We need to move it over by one, actually. If we move it over by one, then it will pump out right there. And then we can just have it feed in through one side. I am making this overly complicated. <laughs> it does not need to be this complicated. But fun and complication, right? <laughs> so, we don't need the electronic circuits right there. Oh my goodness. There we go. We've got that going. It's so complicated. It doesn't need to be that complicated. And then we can just pump the electronic circuits in right there. There we go. So now we've got that all done. Now we just have to set up power to it and we'll be good. Getting some light on the situation might help as well. Let's get some light out. There we go. So now we've got everything powered and ready to go. So now we're going to get green science packs going. Yay. There we go. Green science packs automated. Awesome. Now we can start researching green stuff or we can start researching stuff that uh, goes with green science packs now. So, um, what's the first thing that we can do? We probably should do electric distribution, so I think we'll do that. So now, when, when that is done, we can make the advanced poles, which will definitely be very, very, very useful. But yeah, look at this. Now we got green science packs going in the line. And then I'll start getting our uh, our research underway. Awesome. So now that we've got that done, I guess the next step that we could take would be producing steel, which steel won't be that bad. We can actually use this section right here. Since it's not being used, we can use that for steel, which I think I'll do that. Do we have any furnaces left? I don't think we do, unfortunately. So we're actually going to need to create... Oh, no, yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. We have plenty of furnaces. What am I talking about? So what I'm going to do now is I'm I'm not going to copy this design. I'm going to do a very similar design. And we'll have steel come in through... Uh, we'll just have it, like, hang around right, right here on the line. We'll do it about right there. That's where steel will finish. But in order to get that, we're going to need to use this iron that we're getting right here. So let's set up a, we can take it right here actually, and we'll just have it go right up into the steel because we're going to need it quite a bit for a little while. So let's just do this. We'll make it simple. Lost well, powered everything from that one line. My goodness. I need to hook this up to the additional line. There we go. 
So now we can just set up a long line of furnaces, which will just create steel. So we need fast inserters, which we've got plenty, doing each end. All right, cool. So now we can just put a line every other. And there's our steel production. And then we can just have it finished right there. Awesome. So this is going to allow us to make better pickaxes, armor, train tracks, all that. And then what we can do is we can also extend it. So we'll we'll extend it out because I think we, we definitely could use that that extra steel production. So we'll extend the line out and over here. There we go. We are going to need coal up here, though. That might be an issue, but we don't need to worry about that right now. Uh, actually, eh, we can just take coal directly from there. So, once again, this just works out pretty conveniently. So, we'll just borrow coal. We'll do the same thing we've been doing. So, now we'll just take coal right from the line here. And we'll feed it right up around, like we're doing with the iron. There we go. So, all this is going to require now is extra inserters. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't need to do that. What am I doing? I'm being silly again. Just need to create a lot of fast inserters. I don't have enough never have enough fast inserters. There we go. There we go, finally. Okay. So now... Whoops. Now we can start placing our power lines. I I realized the problem here. These don't have thing. I was like, this should not be this easy. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh yeah, I merged the lines. I probably should have did that here. I think I'll do that. <laughs> I'm making this too complicated for myself. I don't need to do that. This does not need to be complicated. I'm definitely doing that though. I'm managing to make it a lot more complicated than it needs to be. I'm actually going to make myself a steel pick right now because I am so sick of using this iron one. We do not need iron picks anymore. Look at the, the speed difference. It's insane. Why am I... Ah, goodness. Why am I destroying the line? What am I doing? I'm being silly. I just need to pick it up. I don't need to destroy the entire line. My goodness, man. I am just derping out. Okay, there we go. Destroying. I destroyed my entire production line for no reason. There, now we've got steel production fully automated. You know, let's actually add another step to this. So, if we add another one there... No, that won't do anything. Never mind. Awesome. So now we, we have green science being worked on, which is fantastic. So let's actually increase the research speed that we can do this at now. 
so that way we can get production going even faster for certain stuff. Actually, yeah, I do. I do want, I want another one here because if we do another one here, then that will allow the inner areas to also get supplies from other belts if they need it. Look at that. It's slowly looping around. It looks great. All right, we're just going to want a chest right now with steel going into it. I have a lot of junk in my inventory. I need to get rid of this. We do not need all this coal, that is for sure. We also don't need all this copper, but there we go. Much better. Ooh, look, our lines. They're, they're thinning out because the steel is just sucking up all of our iron. We should be good, though. I don't think... I don't think we're going to have any issues with uh, production for a little while now, at least, which is really good. Put another turret down here. We'll put a turret down here as well, just to watch over the things. Put one here, one here, and we'll put another one right here. Coolio. Is that one? Yeah, that's got all the science areas. All right. So now that we've got steel automated, we can start broadening our our ideas here and we could actually start working on trains and all that when when we research it of course but for now I'm actually kind of torn on what I want to do <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what I want to do right now uh, let's, let's let's take a look and see what we can we could actually work on so we're mainly researching right now we could actually take out biter bases which might not be a bad idea since they are everywhere right now around us like this is crazy let's actually put a few more satellites down so that way we have a a better understanding of where everything else is so like we can put one over here by this zone that way we can see it even though we've got one here having one down here wouldn't be a bad idea either so let's put a satellite all the way down here we'll just put it at the very base here probably about like right here and we can see it Extends it out that way, which will then allow us to start researching or exploring this little area. Alright, I think I'm going to tear this down off camera because you guys probably don't want to watch me destroy this. And then, um, I'm actually going to end the episode here, so. Next up, or while I'm gone, I'll figure out what we're going to do exactly. And then, um, yeah, we'll establish that. So, thanks for watching. 321.34.